Hey everybody, welcome back to the Piano Shed. This is Jeff. Today we're gonna do a quick lesson on the bubble. And the bubble is a reggae uh, keyboard technique that you hear a lot. It gives a really nice full rhythmic sound um, to the keyboard. So let me show you what it sounds like. Two, three, four, one. <laughs> Okay, so the bubble is really a rhythmic technique that splits the rhythm between our left hand and our right hand. Each hand has its own separate rhythm. So the left hand is gonna be playing on all up beats. So if our pulse is here, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. And our right hand is gonna be playing on beats two and four. So if our pulse is here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And when we put it together, it sounds like this. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. All right, so let's slow that down so you can practice it. Let's do it here. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and 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 four. All right, so that's it for the technique of the bubble. I just wanna go over what I'm playing for chords here in case anyone's in interested. So what I'm using is a basic progression that you see in reggae a lot, which is the minor one to the flat seven. So in this case, we're in the key of C minor. So our minor one chord is C, E flat, G. And our flat seven is a major chord, B flat, D, F. So those are the two chords I'm using. I'm playing both of them in second inversion. So when we have the bubble, I'm going from this to that, and this to that. You can also try the technique using different inversions of chords. So what I mean by that is, say in your left hand, you play both chords in root position. In your right hand, you could play the chords in first inversion. And that would sound like this. And of course, you can try this with different chord progressions as well. Um, let's take a one, six, four, five in C major. So that would be one, six, four, five. This is the chord progression to Bob Marley's one drop. And so with the bubble, that would sound like this. Two, three, four, one. There you go. That's the bubble keyboard technique. Hope you get to use that one soon when you're playing reggae. That's it for the Piano Shed today. My name is Jeff, and we'll see you next time.